So I came across this very fascinating and interesting case study which explains how one individual, a 61 year old man suffering from Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is essentially cancer of the lymphatic system within our body, entered remission after contracting SARS-CoV-2. For those of you that don't know, the lymphatic system is a system of thin tubes and lymph nodes that run throughout the body. These tubes are called lymph vessels. The lymph system is an important part of our immune system. The lymphatic system is similar to the blood circulation. The lymph vessels branch through all parts of the body like the arteries and veins that carry blood. But the lymphatic system tubes are much finer and carry a colourless liquid called lymph. The lymph contains a high number of a type of white blood cells called lymphocytes. These cells fight infection and destroy damaged or abnormal cells. Cancer cells entering the lymphatic system is usually a poor prognosis, as metastasis is likely to occur when this happens. And metastasis is the spread of cancer cells from the place where they first formed to another part of the body. So, when this individual first went to hospital with very serious symptoms, for example progressive lymphadenopathy, doctors went on to diagnose the patient with Hodgkin's lymphoma after a biopsy followed by a PET scan. And PET scans are a type of test that create 3D pictures of the inside of your body. PET stands for Positron Emission Tomography. The PET scan uses a mildly radioactive drug to show up areas of the body where cells are more active than normal. It's used to help diagnose some conditions, including cancer. So here is the PET scan results of the patient. As we can see, the cancer has metastasized to other areas of the body. Shortly after the diagnosis, he was admitted with breathlessness and wheeze and was diagnosed with PCR-positive SARS-CoV-2 pneumonia. After 11 days, he was discharged to recover at home. No immunochemotherapy was administered. Four months later, the symptoms this patient was suffering, which related to the Hodgkin's lymphoma, had reduced dramatically. So, the doctors then proceeded to conduct further tests. A secondary PET scan was done, shown on the screen now. We can see reductions in the bright spots that usually indicate the presence of cancerous cells. So you must be wondering, how has this happened? Well, the scientists hypothesized that the SARS-CoV-2 infection triggered an anti-tumor immune response. They believe that this anti-tumor immune response involved two mechanisms, the first being T-cell cross-reactivity. What this means is that the T-cells that are activated upon SARS-CoV-2 infection can also bind to and destroy cancer cells, as well as cells containing the coronavirus viral particles. The second mechanism involved natural killer cells. Natural killer cells that were activated by the cytokines released upon SARS-CoV-2 infection. Now, when these natural killer cells are active, when they come across normal cells, these normal cells have enough levels of a specific protein complex on their surface known as MHC class 1, which inhibits the natural killer cell. Therefore, normal cell is protected from natural killer cell attack. However, cancer cells typically have lower levels of this MHC class 1 on their surface. Less inhibition of the natural killer cell now occurs, and so it will attack these cancer cells and destroy them. Right, hope you enjoyed this short but fascinating video. As always, if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe and share, and comment your thoughts down below. I would love to hear from you.